It's a beautiful windy morning and I'm in Monte Verde, Costa Rica with Victor. And Victor, you were a part of a wonderful conservation organization. And what is that company, that organization? The, the name of the company is, uh, is Fundación Conservacionista Costa Ricense. Uh, and it was created in 2000. And the idea is to protect the forest or habitat on the Pacific side of the Continental Divide. Uh, and Monte Verde is very special because many years ago, actually a group from the United States came here. Yeah, that was a long, long time ago, 1951. Uh, a group of uh, Quakers from uh, Fair Hope, Alabama, came here and uh, started with this uh, conservation, private conservation effort for 1,500 acres. Then eventually they gave it to a private organization in Costa Rica, Tropical Science Center. And from right there, it started this huge effort of conservation in, uh, in Monteverde. And it's really so special because it is all privately owned. It's not governmentally um, administered or anything. Nothing. Everything belongs to the uh, to families, basically, and, and private organizations like uh, Children's Eternal Rainforest. That's from uh, Monteverde Conservation League here in Monteverde, there runs that. And people yeah. still can go through, like we went through hikes and we got to see so many beautiful things. And really your organization is doing things for the flora and the fauna here, but why is it important for everyone to know, for people even in Oregon to know about this special place? The, uh, the, the, our effort that is based on the, on the Pacific, uh, it, it plays a really, really good role because the Pacific side was pretty much cut off, they pretty much devastated, all the forests disappear. Hmm. Well, a lot of the forests disappear on the Pacific. And the big connection between here and Oregon, even when we are so far, far away, are the migratory birds. Oh. Yeah, there are a lot of migratory birds that come right here to this area. And uh, we carried a project uh, for a few years where we were catching migratory neotropical birds. And that way we knew what they were doing, which ones were coming right here. And our birds, they go all the way to Oregon. Oh. So, and they do it twice. Wow. They go down south <laughs> and they come back in April. So this is with habitats, with patches of forest like this, they play an incredible role because they have a place to stay while they come here. Victor, which birds would we um, see both in Oregon and here and as migratory? Uh, we have wood thrush. Okay. Yeah, uh, Wilson's warbler. Uh, Tennessee, Canada, many, many other warblers that come here. Uh, wood, uh, cedar waxwing is probably the one you are more familiar oh, definitely, with. Definitely, yeah, I've seen it those comes, in my garden. They come all the way here. Victor, today Garden Time is on a tour with Colette Tours, and so we came here to the um, area, your refuge here, and we actually did something today. Yeah, something very important, mm. which is plant a tree. And, uh, and, and like. Just one tree. One tree. One tree, one tree makes the difference. Mm. Yeah, one tree after another tree, another and hundreds of trees. Then we create beautiful forests like this. Uh, and the donation that it comes through Colette Vacation Foundation from this group, we plant many trees oh. in May when the rainy season comes. <laughs> in the right time. Yeah, in the right time. Now because Victor has to water the trees. So, yeah, so. We want to make your job as yeah, easy as no, possible. We can, I can't water 100 trees. It's right. So if people want to help, is there a way that we can get in touch with you? Yeah, well, uh, through uh, children, uh, Change the World Kids. Change the World Kids is in Woodstock, Vermont. They raise money for this our organization. They come every year here and uh, they bring the donation and they come and plant a lot of trees in June. Wonderful. Yeah, and uh, so maybe that will be the easiest way. Change the World Kids in Woodstock, Vermont. All right. And uh, of course, to, through the website, and uh, but probably for you in the States, that would be the easiest way. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, yeah. Well, we'll give you all that information. It'll be on gardentime.tv or on the screen, and you could help plant a tree that will really help all the whole world. Thank you so much, Victor. Thank Thanks you. for all you do. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot for coming and doing this special event today. Thanks a lot.